Welcome back everyone. I'm going to go over the competition happening on March 26, 2024, which features the bicycle meta. Bicycles are one of the hardest items to craft in the game because of all the other items required to make it, as well as the expensive buildings and the high wages. So if you're not making a certain amount of bicycles per hour, or you don't have other items on the side to sell, to pay all the wages, then you will of course run out of money and you won't be making any more bicycles if you can't pay your workers. So you have to be careful and you have to make a good enough build to sustain the cash flow requirements basically. I am going to go over the details for this competition and then I have a build showcase here prepared by one of the members in the dub community who's also going to win a prize because their build is getting showcased in this video and that's going to give you a good idea on how to make a competitive design for this competition. As always you can find the official details in the Common Ground World Announcements channel in the Galley Games Discord and I have an invite link to the Galley Games Discord in the description of the video. So the competition will begin March 26, 2024 and end three days later. Meta is to sell bicycles. Standard trade time is 60 seconds and one gasoline per trade. The biome will be a desert biome facing the south and it will include an oil seep. The biome edges will be a river on the north side, mountains on both the east and west side across from each other, and then the south side is just another desert. The desert will help because it provides the passive sand to every tile which is a positive impact to sand mines. It will allow the sand mines to craft silica on the fastest craft timer possible so it makes it much easier to get silica. The two mountains will provide a little bit of benefit but also some negative effects. Mountains cast up to five shade and they are across from each other. This means that you only have five rows in the middle that don't have any shade impacting them. This is where you're going to have your crops ideally closer to the riverside since you have up to five passive water being provided from the river but the mountains will allow you to make iron mines which are the faster version compared to shallow mines at least. They'll be able to make your minerals at a faster rates but you also want to be careful and not have them close to the river because that passive water will then slow down the mines so you're gonna have up to 11 spots on each side of the mountain to work with the iron mines which are the faster ways to get iron chromium and limestone which you'll need for the the whole process of making bicycles. Now for this biome, you can see the oil sleeps closer to the mountain and riversides. We are given a windmill and two sugarcane fields. I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, sugar is not recommended to make here. You are also given two wind turbines and the worker in the warehouse. So you can start collecting energy, which is good. So the cash boost for this competition is silica. It will give 5,000 cash each instead of the regular 1,000. So that's a five times boost that is great that is one of the things you could make to get all of the cash that you need for this competition alternatively if you like doing gold rush i still believe that you can do gold rush here and it would be just fine as for which one is better it's kind of hard to say it might actually be silica but just keep in mind if you're going to do a silica rush you want to build your power plant so you can have the passive energy for the sand mines since the sand mines require two energy in order to make silica and then you're going to need a lot of worker houses probably forklifts because they're faster so they can pick up the silica from the sand mines and take it to a warehouse whereas with the forges they come with their own worker you don't need to worry about passive energy you just need your loggers collecting wood and providing it to the forges now of course you're also going to need panners and gold panning sites but both of them are very similar silica might actually be better but it's uh probably more time consuming it's kind of hard to say right both of the options in my opinion are very good to get all the cash that you need in order to build up your design now the rewards are going to be a standard gala rewards for getting in the top 1200 and bicycles are made in the sanus factory requiring one blue steel one mystic matter two lights as a craft time of 120 seconds and it is stored in the warehouse the nft that was released with this competition is called the electric arc furnace this nft acts as a steel mill 
know, but you can't actually make steel with it because if you could, that would be very, very powerful. So what it does let you do is it allows you to craft blue steel and red steel with less materials. So instead of five steel, it only requires four steel for both blue steel and red steel. And instead of 10 energy, it only requires five energy. You will still need the uniforms for blue steel or the 14 red strawberries for red steel. Additionally, you're not going to need that water pump in order to place down this NFT, whereas steel mills require a water pump in order to be built. So you can get by without that and you don't need a paved road, but you do need a regular dirt road, which I don't think really makes much of a difference. You're probably going to want a paved road anyways, but that's one of the utilities it offers. And additionally, you don't have to pay any wages for this. Usually steel mills have very high wages. Well, they do have very high wages. So the NFT version not having any wages will help you save money within your build. So that's all the utility that is described here. It is an epic NFT. It will be priced at $350 each and there are 300 in supply in the Gala Games store right now. I'll share my thoughts and opinions about it. Well, first of all, this NFT looks really cool, right? I actually really like the design. As for the utility, I think this NFT will really only help you out in very specific situations. I would say this is very meta specific. You don't have a lot of crafts right now that require blue steel and it's been a very long time since we've ever done a competition that was only blue steel this actually used to be a competition that would happen many times in the past uh, people love their blue steel and their uniform competitions but lately there's just not enough use for blue steel and red steel was only ever made once and it is going to come back one more time so if you do get this nft you will for sure be able to use it in this competition and the red steel competition and i'm not sure how often you would use it after that it doesn't feel like an nft you would use very often it does provide good utility in these competitions that you actually use the nft with along with many other meta specific nfts that we see added to the game but overall this isn't an nft that you're going to be using most of the time so i don't think it's going to be very useful now if this nft did provide a way to make steel with it it would be very very powerful a lot of people would be buying it up mostly the top players because they would be able to make passive steel it is doable if you have the right nfts which those would be the ones that give you passive iron but i wouldn't really recommend this one honestly if you were looking for a good alternative i would look into a legendary style and ride that is an nft that provides two passive iron which will help you make steel with basically eight iron instead of 10 iron it's like a 20 percent efficiency boost which is the same thing that this one would provide with the steel requirement so it's very similar and uh, I feel like the legendary style and ride the one that gives two passive iron has more use cases other things that you could do instead of just relying on this to make blue steel and red steel so that would be my suggestion there not one that I am personally going to pick up I'm not very interested in this one yeah that's my thoughts and opinions on this NFT this weekend I created an event on my discord where I asked people people to submit a no NFT design and I would be randomly selecting one winner by using basically a raffle system. It was a wheel spin and I did that on the discord and the winner was definite GJ. So congratulations to them. They're going to win a $50 gala prize and I'm also going to be showcasing their build. So I have replicated it here. It's working well and he also provided some tweaks that could push the production rate even higher. He didn't have to do that but I will be showing those tweaks on the visualizer it's very simple adjustment uh, but i just tested this version right here so this build is doing close to seven bicycles per hour i run it for about eight hours now uh, i didn't change anything else he did have different variations of it and i'm actually going to rotate it like this for my convenience because this is how it was set up on the visualizer so this is how you're going to see it on the visualizer this is how i mainly want to present it and i think it's more presentable this way this does close to seven per hour it's, it's showing 6.8 um based off the production of other stuff 
it should actually be close to seven bicycles per hour. Mostly it is the lights that is what's holding it back from pushing a higher rate because if you take a look at the blue seal, that's at 7.5 per hour. So this could easily be tweaked to at least 7.5 per hour by just moving around some glass factories, which is one of the adjustments that he made that I'll show you on the visualizer itself. So I am going to scroll through the production monitor, not really going to go into detail on every single item. I am going to actually explain how the crafting of everything works in just a moment. I believe this design will be competitive enough to win in the competition and it also has a positive cash flow as long as you are doing 6.8 bicycles per hour. So as you can see there's a lot of trees and a lot of loggers because a lot of lumber will be required. So there's a total of 43 tree farms and they are all in the middle where there won't be any shade casted on them. There are 19 loggers to pick up the wood then they take it to the lumber mills of which there are seven of them they all have the passive energy and water drums that they need and they are stored at the lumber yard so the lumber is then used by the miners to craft iron chromium and limestone it's also used by the beehives to make honey and honeycomb and it is used by the fabric plants to make cotton yarn and also wool yarn lumber has to be balanced between all of those items. Now I'm first going to go into the minerals. There are 10 iron mines. Six of them are making iron and these two are making limestone and then these two are making chromium. They do have all the passive energy that they need being provided by the two power plants here and then two nuclear power here. Power plant provides up to three passive energy. Nuclear power provides up to four passive energy and it doesn't cast dirty which is important for the pottery shops. So that explains the iron, chromium, and limestone. Iron will be used to make steel at the steel mills. There are a total of six steel mills and five of them are making steel. This one's making blue steel, which I will go into later. But these other five are making steel. It requires 10 iron, five energy, five water drums. So they do have to pick up energy and water drums from the warehouses. Two buildings making energy are the nuclear power. Both of these are turned on and making energy. The power plants could also be turned on to make energy but then you would end up with too much energy so i would suggest just leaving them off and the water drums come from the water facilities so there are a total of 11 water facilities all have the three passive water that they need to craft water drums and thankfully these buildings do not cast shade so you can have them close to the tree farms without impacting them and that's how you would get the water drums and energy for the steel let's talk about the cotton yarn production here you are going to need a tractor in order to pick up the cotton to take it to the silo so there is one tractor living over here and yes it'll pick up the cotton take it here and then we have two fabric plants making cotton yarn so they just have to take a quick trip over here to get the cotton that they need they have the passive energy that they need for the power plants and they also need to pick up a lumber from the lumber yard and that explains the cotton yarn now there's also the one making wool yarn over here and and the only thing that's different is of course the wool there needs to be uh livestock here there are two sheep pens and various meadows here so the sheep can be upon them and you also have an atv worker here to pick up the wool and take it to this storehouse which is immediately close to the fabric plant making wool so that's how you make the wool yarn and cotton yarn both of those stored in the warehouse and they are used in this fabric plant to make the uniform and this one also has the passive energy that it needs with the uniforms and the steel you now have everything that you need to make loose steel at a steel mill which is one of the core ingredients for bicycles now i'm going to talk about the other one which would require the molten glass there are going to be two sand mines making silica on a green craft timer and they also have the passive energy that they need you do need a forklift in order to pick up the silica and take it to a warehouse the forklift is going to be all the way over here so we'll pick up silica take it to a nearby warehouse and that will be picked up alongside with the chromium and the limestone that i already explained and made at these two glass factories right here then the molten glass is also stored at the warehouse and this one north pole creation lab will craft the lights utilizing the two molten glass and three energy passive from the nuclear power those lights are the other big requirement in order to make bicycles and now we just need to talk 
about mystic matter i'll start with the pottery shops there are two pottery shops here with the passive water drum and energy that they need from the nuclear power they don't have any dirty being casted on them and they just need to pick up the clay lumps so more than likely the forklift will pick up the clay lump from this clay field right here the only clay field here take it to a nearby warehouse and then the pottery shop workers will go and pick it up from that warehouse if for some reason the forklift is busy then the pottery shop workers will just walk over here and pick it up themselves both of these making ceramic bowls they store it in the warehouse and then it is picked up by the beekeepers there are two beekeepers and they pick up lumber and the ceramic bowls take them to the beehives of which there are two of them this beehive is making honeycomb this beehive is making honey and it is negatively impacted by the one dirty from the depot this is done on purpose in order to slow down the honey production rates because normally honeycombs take longer than honey so if you slow down honey like that it actually takes the same amount of time also the bees will feast on these clover fields right here to get the nectar that they need so the one honey and one honeycomb is used in order to make the glue which is actually done on this one over here and it also utilizes two clay lumps which they can pick up from the warehouse and then the glue gets stored all the way over here and used to make mystic matter from this wizard's workshop right here so you have a total of two wizards workshop one one is making glue the other one's making mystic matter and we already explained cotton yarn and limestone so that's how you craft mystic matter which is the other four components for the bicycles which are crafted in just this santa's factory right here so i believe that explains all of the production going on here hopefully i didn't miss anything the only other thing i'm going to talk about is the gasoline production and the depot so you got your standard gasoline production with two power plants two water pumps two refineries refinery in between those crafting gasoline the refinery to the side crafting petroleum you do have the oil seat providing passive crude oil for the refinery crafting petroleum and all of the gasoline gets stored in the fuel storage you also have the depot which in this case the express depot was used which i did allow there were very few nfts that i did allow one of them being the express depot which i don't think it should make that big of an impact you can still use the regular trade depot and this build should work just fine i didn't explain the warehouses but there are a total of four warehouses in this build they're all close to the industrial section of the map over here oh and there is one pantry that's where you store your honey and honeycomb just in case i didn't explain that one either but i believe that was it i think definite gj did a great job on this build it is definitely not the best but it is competitive enough to win in the competition and there is still room for improvement so i'm going to show you what auto tray looks like and then i'm going to show you on the visualizer the two different versions of this design here's what the auto tray looks like i have just about all the items that you need to sell set to 10 this time i don't have gasoline lumber or wood on auto sell i don't believe you need to but as long as you have everything else then you should be good here's what the bill looks like on the visualizer total cost is 34 million wages are 30,995 per minute if you're making around 6.8 bicycles per hour you should be good you should be able to pay all the wages for this this build is cash positive but just barely you might want to have some extra for cash on the side just in case while you're building this out so you can pay those wages and also any other wages just in case you made a mistake and you're not making enough bicycles per hour now there are two stages in this this first stage is the one that was making seven bicycles per hour that i just showcased and i verified that it works now definite gj has a couple of different tweaks to this so i used his most recent tweak and shared it on here on the visualizer he claims it does 7.9 bicycles per hour and it does make one important change here that i do think will help out it adds a third glass factory making molten glass which will help that molten glass production rate for the lights to push the bicycle rate even higher and all it did is just move one of these mines over since it was already overproducing chromium and limestone and it deleted one of these paved roads which shouldn't make that big of a difference i believe he did say he tested this and it will most than likely improve 
of the production rate. So I wanted to include that one here. I didn't have time to do a long enough test to actually validate if this tweak works, but I'm pretty sure it does. So shout out to Definite GJ for continuing to tweak the design even after his submission already won. Now, of course, you can find the file for this visualizer on my Discord server and an invite link to my Discord server can be found in the description of the video. No NFTs are required in order to reach this production rate. The Express Depot doesn't impact the build and the Enchanted Fireworks, if you do own the full set, it offers a 50% craft time reduction to the Wizards workshops. So my craft times are actually half. That won't make a difference to this because you don't need to make that much Mystic Matter anyways. But that's all I have for this build showcase. Shout out to Definite DJ once again. Great job on this build. Thank you for sharing it. Hopefully this was able to help you create a design or improve your current design. If you found this helpful or informative, please leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing if you haven't done so. You can click the link in the description to play Common Ground World or support the channel if you decide to purchase anything from the Gala Game Store. As always, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.